It's fun. Now who would buy a brick for a toy? So, a lot of you are probably going to hate me for that intro if you have an Xbox One, but that's something I made when I was bored and that was pretty much an example of what I think of the Xbox One now. And before I start this video, I'd like to say I've had an Xbox pretty much my whole life. Like, I've had the original Xbox, the Xbox 360, and I got the day one edition of the Xbox One, and that is why I'm so pissed off and why I sold my console. Because it's been three years and there's been like no fucking progress so far, like anything positive, like the console's still broken, and I'm gonna tell you why. So this is my Xbox One life story and how I've gone from the day one edition and having an Xbox One for three years and how I've been like never satisfied with the Xbox One and what it should have been for what it is and it's a next gen console so I don't know if I have high standards or it's just me but something that's called a next gen console should be more powerful than an Xbox 360 and be able to fucking like do its job and not have any problems constantly lagging all the time and crashing. One of the biggest issues with the Xbox One and an issue that everyday gamers have all the time and me and my friends have been having all the time is parties have always been crashing and it's been and they haven't been stable until I think it's this year and they still have problems sometimes I know that it's retarded and I still have problems to this day joining my friends games and inviting my friends to a game of Black Ops 3 so that is another reason why I sold my Xbox it's not just Black Ops 3 it was GTA it was so many other games where we had to restart our games just so we could get into the same game. Like, why has that type never been an issue on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3? And then now it's such a big issue on these cloud console Xbox One and PlayStation 4 bullshit. What has changed that has caused so many issues? Cloud operating systems are actually the stupidest thing though. Like, you have to be pretty stupid to think that cloud operating system was a good idea because that means you're relying purely on your internet's power to power the console and give it the extra power it needs to run the games. Like, the console can't even... It, uh, the console doesn't even have enough power. It can't run the game at 1080p 60 frames per second. That's pretty sad, guys. I am pretty sure that there has not been a single Xbox One game running at 1080p and it's been running at a solid 60 frames per second without any frame drops. There's been so many frame drops in games like Call of Duty, and it's just pretty ridiculous. Like, the Black Ops 3 loading screen constantly frame drops. It can never run at a solid 60 frames per second. The point I'm trying to make here is that with the Xbox One S is they're trying to push the 4K, yet they can't even push a solid 60 frames per second. I'd rather have solid 60 frames per second or even more than 60 frames per second so I don't have any frame drop and it doesn't lag so I have precise shooting and all my bullets connect perfectly and you don't have to deal with people shooting you while you're behind the fucking wall. So from a YouTuber's point of view, the console almost killed my channel pretty much because I've tried to do comedy gaming and funny moments videos but we couldn't record party chat for the longest time and I couldn't also record game chat for the longest time because they just like, no one talks in game chat. Microsoft has muted a shit ton of people in game chat and then some, and then game chat's really broken too, like sometimes you can't even hear the people in game chat, it's retarded. Also private matches are pretty broken and many YouTubers have problems with private matches and also the more shit you have on your console, like the more games installed and the more friends you have, the more issues your console is going to have and the slower it's going to get. It wasn't just the games that were lagging though, it was also the console's interface too. Like there's been many times where I try to sign into my account and then it lags and then jumps two accounts and signs into my friend's account and then he gets signed out and he gets kicked out of his GTA Online session. But hey, I guess that's what you call the power of the Xbox One. So 
So if you're a YouTuber, don't buy the Xbox One S. It's just not worth it. The PC community actually talks on game chat and Xbox One and Microsoft is never going to let you record game chat. They don't like the trolling community because it's bad for their reputation. And I'm sorry to my fans that I sold my Xbox One. But if you want to play with me on PC, join my Steam group. It is going to be in the description. It is the best way to tell when I am on a game and you can come play with me. And yeah, the funniest part about this is I sold my Xbox One to my little brother. Are you in the fucking room with a computer? Maybe. Oh, that's what I was talking about before, the last round when I said I found your setup. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> ah, I don't play in the closet.